For Anisha Minor, the journey to this moment was a tumultuous one. <laughs> as this moment inside Henrico County Jail West was preceded by nearly a decade of upheaval. Different things just kept ha happening to me. As Miner says, during her 30s, she developed substance use issues, lost her house in a fire, and in 2018, her daughter Sharice Cook was murdered. I just was devastated. Miner says her life then spun out of control and ended up in the criminal justice system. But she says while serving her current parole violation, she had a realization. It was just, um, sitting there and I have grandkids and kids, I'm, it has to be something better for my life. And I want that. Part of that meant beating her addictions, which she has done through the jail's RISE program, completing the minimum 12-week course in July. And she says she has learned addiction can happen to anyone, but... It doesn't have to be the end for you. It doesn't have to be the end of your story. It is allowing them to see um, that they can do, they can be successful, they can do something, they can complete something. And Rico County Sheriff Alyssa Gregory says RISE, which stands for Recovery in a Secure Environment, has been running in the men's jail since 2000 and in the women's since 2002. And with the help of a county mental health clinician, it is a peer-run group with those like Minor who've graduated leading others on the same journey. We get to show them that yes, you can turn it around. You know, things can be different. You know, you have people that support you, people that believe in you. Okay. <laughs> the program also incorporates a spiritual component and participants celebrated completing that portion on Wednesday. Led by Reverend Deborah Simmons, she says the women are like butterflies working to break free from their cocoons. And they're struggling right now to break through to that new beginning, to that new life. But if they keep with the struggle and they, they will come through like this butterfly and be able to fly and be free. See you next week. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. For Minor, she says Simmons helped her restore her spirituality. It, it gives you um, hope. Um, you know and feel like I know I can make it. I know I can do this. And as she prepares to leave prison sometime in the coming months, Minor says she plans to keep helping others overcome what she has. To let them know that it is a better way. I promise you. If you want it, it, it won't be easy, but. You can have it. Working for you in Henrico County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News. Yay!